Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, going back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sample platter review series of videos I've been doing for a little while now, where I go over there and try food and drink items. I eat stuff, drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious things you can go over there and try and enjoy, or potentially not, you know, in which case I'm sort of warning you away. Um, really, it's a public service. Where's my medal? That's all I'm saying. While I'm doing so, Peter Can Thunderbolt poster, got some marble figures, crappy old ladder. Over there, got a little hamster set up. You might see my little girl Shizu around by. You know, if you're, if you're lucky, if you're good. Okay. Also, while I'm doing it, rocking a cool shirt. Seven Days Lost. Excellent band, I think, out of Colorado, I want to say. Uh, saw them perform a couple weeks ago at the time I'm doing this. Absolutely check out their stuff. Really, really good band. If you can see them live, definitely see them live. Fantastic live band. But anyway, so folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, I just got done doing my previous video. I did a bunch of healthy drink crap. So I have to offset that by doing not healthy stuff. Uh, because, yeah. So <laughs> here's what we're going to try, folks. Boom! We've got Dr. Pepper Vanilla Float. Established in 1885, naturally and artificially flavored. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, I yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so Dr. Pepper, they've been known to do a, do an occasional wacky flavor here and there. Um, I've done I did video for uh, Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. In fact, that was one of my first videos. Go watch that video. And I think I did. Did I do Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper? Maybe. Go look that up if I did. I forget. Uh, but they've also done stuff in the past. Um, what was it? They had like a some sort of like a vanilla thing. I don't know exactly if this is that or what. Uh, I got this off a website called Dessert Drinks. And I've done some of their stuff before. And they had this available, and I was like, dude, I love Dr. Pepper. It's genuinely one of my favorite sodas of all time. And I figured, man... Alright. The only problem with Dr. Pepper is that they're one of those companies where it's like, occasionally they'll do like a funky flavor. But then it'll only be like, extremely limited. Like, they actually have like, birthday cake flavor Dr. Pepper. But you have to like, be part of their like, fan club and stuff. And then it's like, a random thing. And it's like... You know, come on, man. Like, just make this stuff available. So I don't even... I forget exactly where the hell this came from. Because, like, it, like, different drinks from different regions of the world and shit. It's all in English. So, I don't know. I... If nothing else, check out dessert drinks or just look it up or whatever. Maybe you can find yourself a can. I don't know what its availability is. Hopefully it's good. I would imagine it is. I don't think I've ever had a Dr. Pepper iteration that I didn't like. The only point of contention I have with Dr. Pepper is for people like me who grew up in the 90s, right? Back when they first came out, Dr. Pepper, uh, Diet Dr. Pepper, all of their commercials were basically the same general theme where it was like, oh man, Diet Dr. Pepper, you know, it's so close to the Dr. Pepper taste. You know, why are you lying to, you, to the people, folks? Everybody knows it's really just... It's like, no, folks. Anybody who's had a Diet Dr. Pepper knows damn well it doesn't taste that much like a fucking normal Dr. Pepper. It probably tastes closer than some of the other diet iterations versus their normal iterations, but, like, you're not going to be confused by it at all. So, just saying. Let's try this thing. <laughs> It smells like Dr. Pepper. I wonder if this is going to be like the Dr. Pepper cream soda. Because, I mean, it's a vanilla float. That's not that far off from a cream soda, so. Ooh. It's not. Ooh. That is smooth. I like it. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this. It's probably a good thing that this isn't, like, easily available. I would probably buy a lot of them. Actually, that's not true. I'd, 
I buy a lot of soda, but it's mostly for review stuff these days. Like, I have, like, a whole section of my fridge just devoted to, like, things that I intend to review. And then, like, every now and again, I'll buy, like, a fucking thing of Bargs or some shit. Or Barks. This is really good. It is somewhat similar to the Dr. Pepper with cream soda. Well, the Dr. Pepper with cream soda, I feel, has a harsher flavor to it with the, the added cream sugar or cream soda aspect. This blends much better. It's a much lighter taste. It's really nice. Like, it's... I enjoy Dr. Pepper with cream soda. I really do. But this, I feel... Yeah, just the way it blends. Like, it's this very smooth flavor throughout. Like, there's no... There's no harshness, there's no hit or anything. It's just very, very, like, you know, it's very sweet. You know, it is what it is. It's Dr. Pepper. Uh, but then it's just got this nice, delicious, smooth flavor. That's so good. Uh, could Dr. Pepper, come on, man. Like, could we please just... <laughs> By the way, if you're hearing stuff, that's my hamsters running around being adorable. Who's an adorable hamster? You're an adorable hamster. Yeah. Who's an adorable ham? Who's an adorable ham? Is it you? I think it's you. I think it's you because you're pretty. Who's a pretty girl ham? Come here. Whoop. Come here, cutie. Hi. Hi, cutie. Come hang out with your dad for a little bit? Hi. No. Who's very pretty? Come here, cutie. Oh, who's my little girl him? Hi. Okay. Well, I tried, folks. I swear I did. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, this is great viewing pleasure watching me be off. Hi, itty bitty. Hi, come here. Who's a good girl? Hi. Who's a good girl? Hi. <laughs> this is my little girl Mint. She's a cutie. Yeah. Love her. She's a little girl. Yeah, who's a precious little girl? Love her. <laughs> um, yeah, you want to hang out for the video? I put you back afterwards. Cause you're such a sweetie. Yeah, you're a good girl. She's a very good girl. She's my little tiny dainty ham. Love her. Uh, but yes, back to the the review at hand. Hi. I got you, cutie. It's so good. Um, it's nice because, like, the vanilla flavor, it sort of, uh, it kind of offsets the harshness of Dr. Pepper. Which normally, like, I love, I love a, a soda with some bite. Um, you do, little girl. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I love a soda with some bite, but at the same time, like, the way they blended that in, like, it's such a smooth, very, very tasty drink. Hi. Who's a good girl? Who's my pretty little girl? She's such a sweet ham. Seriously, she's beyond adorable. Who's pretty? Who's pretty? I love you. Good girl. Who's a good girl? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I really like that a lot. Like, I... Comparing it to the Dr. Pepper with cream soda, I wouldn't say that it's inherently better... It depends, it would depend entirely on what I want out of a beverage at the time. The cream soda, 
because it does have that, you know, sort of added bite to it and everything. Um, probably a little bit more overall as like a, as a regular, quasi-regular drink. Whereas with the, the vanilla float, because it is a little bit sweeter, it's got that smoothness to it. It's probably not something I would go with, like, all the time. Yeah. Who's a good girl? Mm, you're pretty. Ooh, you're pretty, bro. No, no, no. Don't nibble your dad's arm. Love you. <laughs> she's a very good girl. You give her treats, but she's such a picky girl. She only likes certain treats. <laughs> okay. Am I going to put you back? Pretty girl. Yeah, you're such a good girl. <laughs> okay. Wait, you want to hang? Okay. Um, but yeah, I, re I really enjoy that. It, as a drink, like I said, it wouldn't be like an immediate go-to drink because of the sweetness level and everything, but, man, that's really tasty. Like, that is, what are you doing? Yeah, not the best move, huh, cutie? Every so often they'll decide that they're going to go over there and, like, burrow into... Try to burrow behind my back, and it's like there's nothing there for you. <laughs> come here. Come here, come here. Hi! Who's a little explorer him? I love you. You're a good girl. Right, we're going to put you back. <laughs> Even though you're being a very good girl. Okay. There you go, there you go. There you go, there you go. Um, eh, it's not your favorite tree, but I think we'll go with it. Yeah, cutie. Okay, so, review got a little bit derailed. But this is a hamster. So, yeah. Like I said, because it is a little bit sweeter, uh, it probably wouldn't be a go-to drink for me. But, man, like, as an every now and again drink, oh, that's so good. Like, that's... Seriously, Dr. Pepper, get on it, man. Like, bring this stuff over. Oh, that's so good. Uh, for that reason and more, it absolutely gets my recommendation. Again, the only problem is getting a hold of this stuff. Uh, the first time I actually went on their website, it wasn't even available. It was sold out already. And I kind of lucked into it on the second round. If you can find it, and it's relatively inexpensive, like I had to, you know, again, because I had to do a thing, like I had to sort of import it or whatever, so, you know, I'd pay more than normal. But it is really good if you have the opportunity, if you can find it, like, at a store or something, 100%. Would I go out of my way to try it? No, I mean, it is a really good drink. If you're a really big Dr. Pepper fan, sure. If you're just, you know, interested, uh, you know, I, I would wait and see. Maybe they'll bring it out as, like, a limited flavor or something. So, but it is very good. Anyway, folks, hamster aside and all the stuff and everything, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if you could do five things for me before I get out of here, have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spend this rest of your year, you go over there and have yourselves a... Vanilla float rest of your life because who doesn't love a goddamn vanilla float? Oh, that's good. Final two things for me, folks. Could number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. But we do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole, okay? So I put try at the beginning because you're going to fail sometimes. Okay, that's intentional. But try to try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. I think most of the time we can do that. It's just difficult sometimes, especially living in the world we live in. But try to keep it under control when you can. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to talk to Dr. Pepper and you're going to be like, Dr. Pepper. The guy, you know, the Dr. Pepper, because... Clearly, he's the guy to talk to. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go over there and let's get some, uh, Dr. Pepper Vanilla Float and make it readily available. So that, uh, 
you know, there's this guy on YouTube who's saying it's really good. I'd like to try it. I know he'd like to have more of it. Maybe let's get on that. I'm just saying, let's make the millions together. Or conversely, you could go over there and, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, go to a shelter and rescue an animal or something like that. I would say get a hamster, but, like, I love hamsters. Clearly, I have hamsters. <laughs> but there's a lot of work that goes into it that you don't think about originally. So if you're going to get a hamster, do the research. Not Don't talk to pet store employees. No offense, some of them actually know what they're doing, but a lot of them don't. Trust me, I used to be a pet store employee at one point. Do research, go online, go into groups and stuff like that. That's where you want to find out. You hamsters. Bye.